Welcome to how to pin a damselfly. First you need a damselfly. Get it out, make sure it is still pliable. Then you will need to get it picked up so it's pinned. Oftentimes the wings are stuck together and there's a nifty little trick that you can do by pinching it between your forefinger and your thumb and taking forceps, squeezing the ends together, sticking it in between the wings and then letting them open up so you can push those wings down so you can get in between them. Sometimes you can push it down with your fingers a little bit too to help get that down so you can get that pin in there. To pin the damselfly, insert the pin in between the four wings at a perpendicular angle. Sometimes the wings will bend during pinning. When the specimen is fresh, there's nothing to worry about. Take your pinning block and insert the pin at the correct height. In Nebraska, this is either between 3 eighths of an inch or 1 half inch from the top of the pin. Take your pinned damselfly and put it into a block of styrofoam so that the bottom of the body is flush against the styrofoam. Next, take pins to hold the wings down. With damselflies, the wing venation is very important for identification. So spreading the wings out in this manner would help a specialist in identification of the species. Care should also be taken to keep the abdomen down. In some cases, the abdomen may need to be propped up by two pins. Positioning of the legs with damselflies is not as critical as with other types of insects, such as beetles. Here is your finished product.